WD18 and welcome to your instant match reaction live here from Surfers Paradise in Australia also known as the Benidorm or the Magaluf of Australia but it finished at Hillsborough Sheffield Wednesday 2 Watford 6 my word I do you know what because it was in the early hours of this morning I had to watch the game from bed and I thought you know what it's going to be a nice chilled experience with our recent away record, I thought, all right, if we get a point here, I'd be really happy. I did not expect, particularly in that second half, to see, you know, what I saw. Um, every time Watford went forward, we seemed to score. It was real shades of Preston away from last season when we won 5-1. But this one, you know, just seemed even better, I think, because of the Crow scoring four goals for Watford. Obviously, he's a player who has spoken about the whole time. Um, the number nine position for Watford is a... Uh, real talking point a lot of the time and rightly so you know i don't think any of them have really done themselves uh too much you know put themselves and their names in the headlines too much this season whether that's daniel jebson or vacuum bio up until today but but you know that that's changed now four goals which i think could potentially transform bio season um if he can kick on from this because when he got that first goal that penalty the confidence from him was just, well, you could just tell. It was almost like he was a different player. Every time he touched the ball, it would go in. Um, did he score with all, like, I think it might have been a perfect hat-trick as well. I'm not sure if he scored with both his feet, but he got a header and, and obviously scored a penalty and a lovely goal to complete the hat-trick as well. And I just thought as well, the thing I was really impressed with was his general positioning all round. I thought he, you know, we, we've praised Bayer a lot for his work that he does for the team. Tom Cleverley's done that. Um, but obviously the big issue for him was those numbers and getting those goals. Um, but today he just found himself in those right positions. And that's the first time we can say that for Vacuum Bio in a long, long time. And yeah, I'm delighted for him because, you know, it's difficult as a striker, 100%. I, I, in my opinion, I'm not a footballer here, but I think it's the most difficult position in football. Not just in terms of the work that you have to do, particularly in today's game, but because the scrutiny is on you constantly. If you're not scoring goals, people will be asking questions of you. And we've seen that this season of Bio, and I think today he almost answered those critics perfectly. So, yeah, brilliant. Um, game started, it was a bit of a weird half, first half for Watford. I thought we did really well in some bits, but really poorly in other parts as well. Um, particularly, the goal we scored was a really, really good goal. Quadro Bar, absolute quality again. Teams just can't seem to deal with him when he's, you know, at his absolute best. Managed to get to the byline, put it back. Ryan Porteous with a striker's finish. Um, excellent from Porteous, really happy for him. We've spoken a lot again with Porteous about how he struggled a bit this season. I think he's potential hangover still from the Euros. He's even spoken about that before. So, yeah, really happy for him that he was man managed to get a goal. And then the goal we conceded was actually really poor. I'm not sure who it was for Sheffield Wednesday who scored it, but I think you could argue Sierra could have got a bit tight. Um, I think Pollock could have probably got a bit tighter as well. I saw some people blaming Backman. I think that would have been a bit harsh on him. I don't think it was Daniel Backman's fault, that one. Um, but then, yeah, it was a really evenly matched first half. And look, I really like Sheffield Wednesday. I'm a big fan of Danny Roll. Um, and I thought, I just can't believe they capitulated like that. I don't want to be disrespectful because obviously it's a massive football club, Sheffield Wednesday. But that second half, as good as Watford were, I can't remember a championship team that I've seen play that badly in the second half of a football game uh, in a long, long time against Watford. Um, I spoke about Preston earlier, but even now, I don't remember Preston being as bad as Sheffield Wednesday. They were just absolutely all over the place. Watford just seemed to overload Sheffield Wednesday at every single opportunity going forward. And I think a, a lot of credit has to go to Tom Cleverley for that. He tweaked the shape at half time. Um, I think we were a little bit narrow in the first half. Um, and I just think that we were, in that second half, we were able to get Shat Fatatsi into the game a bit more, who, quite funny, I put into the group chat, on the WD18 group chat at halftime, I said, do we need to be seeing a bit more from Georgie at the moment? Because I think the last couple of weeks, you know, I don't think his numbers have been as good as they probably should be. Um, and then he pops up with a lovely assist. Talking of assists, by the way, Festi Abaselli's assist for Bio's hat-trick goal. Wow. Unbelievable. Um, and then, yeah, so, so we started the second half really, really well. And then, again... I mean, we got two penalties really, really quickly. Two different goal scorers. That's now four penalties what we've had this season. That's four goal scorers as well. Tom Deli against, what was it, Sunderland. We had Kayembe last week against Blackburn. And then yesterday we had Tom Ince taking one lovely penalty. Uh, and Bio, obviously, as well. Um, I'm well on Tom Ince, by the way. I just think he brings so much balance to this Watford team. Um, 
well, it's a Soko suspended at the minute, and we're going to have to change that shape a bit potentially, and and look to address it. But Sissoko, Tom Delhi are both out. Um, but I think Ince has been brilliant. I think he's provided balance for Watford. I think he's that experienced head. And you could see yesterday, even when, what did Chef Wednesday put it back to 4 2, I think it was. Um, there are so many goals, I can't even remember the order now. But you could see him almost telling people, calm down, manage the game really well. And we went on to score two more goals. Um, so I think Ince is proving to be really, really important for this Watford team. And another person I thought did really, really well in the middle of the park was uh, Pierre Duemo. A debut for him. I thought he was an absolute monster in the middle of the park. A couple of times I thought his passes were a little bit loose, but I think that's to be expected. It was his first game in a long, long time. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I thought he was really, really impressive. Considering, you know, it's, we found out the Sissoko news late. I'm not sure if Tom Clevely would have found that news out late. Tom Daly Bashiri's injury. We don't know how long that could be. It's a knee injury again. We know he struggled with his knee in the past. But Duomo looked the par. I don't think he looked out of place at all for his first championship game. Um, yeah, I'm just absolutely delighted with that. I'm I'm just happy as well for those travelling fans. I know, unfortunately, I'm not there. First time I've probably got FOMO from from not going to a Watford game so far while I've while I've been there. But cleverly picked up on this in his press conference. But because of how poor the away form has been recently, in a way, I mean, not the looting game. I don't think anything could make up for that looting game. But this does that win. I think does do some of the you know helps to repair some of the damage done in that Preston game, that Norwich game as well. Um, and a couple of the other away defeats this season. And I'm just hoping that, you know, this could be a springboard because Watford's home form this season, you know, we're a top three club, I think we're joint best record, but the away form, we ride down there towards the bottom and we just need that springboard, just to have that consistency going across both those home and away games. And we could have a really, really fun uh, rest of the season. We're about a quarter of the way through now. And you could argue, I listened to From the Rookery Ends uh, podcast the other day with Matt Furness breaking down the stats so far. Um, of Watford season. Uh, make sure to check that out if you haven't. But there was the argument there that Watford have been a bit lucky this season. Um, and I think I'd agree with that, particularly the last few weeks. But yesterday's performance was just absolutely quality. Nothing lucky about it. We completely deserve to win that. Um, yeah, I'm just rattling off my thoughts here. I haven't really got a plan or a structure for this video. Um, two big games coming up this week. Obviously, midweek, Swansea away. Um, that's going to be another... You know, it's every game's difficult in the Championship. But... I just, I just feel that when you win a game like that, the first thing you want to do is be playing again and again and again. Confidence is going to be sky high. We know Tom Cleverley is going to use this Watford squad now for the next few weeks. I think he mentioned something like we could see 20 different players used. Kevin Cabane could be one who comes in. Do we need to manage Duemo's minutes? Bio surely got to keep his spot now as well. We haven't even seen Rocco Vati yesterday as well. That could have been a really fun one. Jefferson came on as well. Can he get back to form? So yeah, I think it's a it's a week now that following that win, it's really really exciting for Watford fans, and it's one for us to really really look forward to. Um, yeah, the lads will be back to really break down that win because yeah, there's going to be a lot to talk about. Whether this could you know kickstart Watford season, particularly away from home. So make sure to like and subscribe to WD18. That's six pounds as well to Hertfordshire Mind, which we'll be donating at the end of November with all the other goals that Watford scored this season. So, yeah, make sure to check that out in the link below. We'll see you all soon. Up to the audience now, the Bakun bio.